Hello, I am Bruno, from Mauritius. Hello, I'm Lino One. Today's lesson will be about decimal fraction. Video created by Danny Udian. Very often, while shopping, I come across dots on price tags and other labels. These are called decimal points. Yes, that's correct. These are called decimal points. You will notice that the decimal point separates the decimal number into two different parts. The whole number part and the fractional part. In the case of 217.35, you'll notice that, on the left, you have all the whole numbers, such as 7 units. One group of 10, which makes 10. And, two groups of hundreds, which makes two hundreds. Okay, we know, that, were the whole numbers, but if you look at the other side, the fractional part, you will notice that the three and the five, are in fact, fractions. As the three is in the tenth column, we call it three tenths. And since the five, is in the hundredth column, we call it, five hundredths. As you move to the left, from the decimal point, the value of the number, grows bigger. On the opposite side, as you move to the right, the fraction becomes smaller. Let's have a closer look at the fractional part. The three tenths will be written in the decimal form as 0 0.3. So, 0 0.3 is the same as three tenths, which is the same as 3 out of 10. Yes, you're right, Eno. Now, if we look at 5 hundredths, you will see that, it is in fact 0 0.05 in the decimal form. So, 0 0.05, is the same, as 5 hundredths, which is 5, out of 100. Finally, the last fraction here, is four thousandths, which is the smallest of the three. Its decimal, form is, 0 0.004. Four thousandths, means, four, out of one thousand. Suppose Eno 1, gives a decimal number, let's say, 13.27 and, you are being asked to place the, decimal number in the columns above. First, you should know, which number should be placed on the left of the decimal point, and, which one to be placed on its right. This is how you're going to know, the exact place value of each number. Here, you keep on placing them in their appropriate columns, until you get the place value of each number. Once you know the place values, you can now learn, to break the decimal number as expanded form. You are now going to see how this is done. One group of 10, gives 10. 3 units, is, 3. On the other side, 2 tenths becomes 0 
seven hundredths becomes 0 0.07. Now, when adding whole numbers to decimal ones, you should include their decimal points too. Here, 10 will be written as 10.00 and 3 will be written as 3.00. Please note, that, when adding up decimal numbers, the numbers should be placed vertically, so that, their decimal points are perfectly aligned just like, buttons on a shirt. For more practice, copy this blank template. In your copy book, you can pause this video in order to copy. Afterwards, Eno1 will provide you with other decimal numbers to fill in the blank columns. OK, ready? Eno1 will come up with a decimal number to fill in the columns. 3.02 3.02 3.02 OK, you know, so, you gave, 3 decimal, 0, 2. Now, I need to fill, the appropriate columns, with the given numbers. But, before doing so, I write units, on the left of the, decimal point, and tenths, on the first column, on the right. Of course, the second column, on the right of the decimal point is hundredth. OK, now we are ready to fill in the appropriate columns. Easy isn't it? For the second part of the exercise, we are going to express the decimal number into different forms. We can change this decimal number as a mixed number, for instance. In this case, the three units remain three, but for the numbers which are on the right of the decimal point, I need to be very careful. Now, since I have two decimal places, I write two zeros underneath the slash like this, I then, add one next to them, which will give, 100. Finally, I put the two, over the slash, to get the numerator. So, this is one way, to change a decimal number into a mix number. Am I right? Yes, that's correct. The next step will be to write the mixed number in words. So, here, I write three and two hundredths. I can also write, the decimal numbers, in expanded form, as you can see, here. Here is another decimal fraction, from Eno1, fill it, in the columns, as explained, before. That's all for today, we hope, you've enjoyed the lesson on decimal fraction.